So just a, a short overview of concrete laser flooring. It's a, a specialist um, construction business uh, focusing on industrial floors. And anything to do with an industrial floor is, uh, is our expertise and our focus. Uh, so from design, uh, build and install uh, industrial floors, we place them, we power float them, we cut them. Uh, we do a lot of concrete polishing. We do epoxy and polyurethane coatings. We survey floors, we do a lot of uh, diagnostics on floors. So really our offer to the marketplace is anything that revolves around an industrial surface bed or an industrial floor. That's our expertise and that's really what our company is about. Some of the new products that CLF has have recently launched is a jointless flooring system. Um, it's particularly important to uh, distribution facilities who don't want any joints in their floors. Um, we've, uh, we've known for many years that joints in floors uh, cause a lot of damage to vehicles um, and it interferes with the operational efficiency of these buildings. So we found a, a jointless flooring system that comes from Sweden. It's a patented system um, and it's been voted the most innovative product at uh, World of Concrete for the last two years running. So we've brought that and implemented that into South Africa. Uh, we recently did a 18,000 square meter floor for Tarsus in uh, Woodmead in Johannesburg, uh, and it's been very successful. Yeah, well, currently in terms of our, our focus of our business, it is geographically uh, suited to Southern Africa, um, principally Johannesburg, Durban, and, and Cape Town is a new initiative for our business. Um, we have been asked to uh, venture out of our borders into um, particularly Zambia and, and Mozambique and uh, a little bit into Angola. We are uh, keen to go there, but we need to learn a little bit more about uh, how we do the work cross-border in terms of sending equipment there, getting it back, um, local laws and regulations in terms of manpower. We use a lot of skilled labor that we've spent 14 years training and you can't just go cross border and pick up those skills. So whilst the, we feel there's demand there for our services, we are cautiously reviewing how we go about servicing that demand.